Okay, so you've removed your suspension strut from your vehicle like this and you need to remove or replace this coil spring, preferably without it taking your face off in the process. So here's how you do it. Okay, this is often referred to as a coilover, and that's basically because this unit consists of two things. One, your shock absorber in the middle here, and then there's the coil spring over the top of that as well. Uh, coilover. It's pretty self-explanatory when you think about it. Now, this particular unit is off the rear of my MX-5, but it's a very common suspension component, and you'll find it on lots of different vehicles. And I've removed mine because I'm upgrading to a set of TEEN, uh, or TN, however you say it, Street Basis Z coilovers, and they require me to use the OEM top mount. So that's this bit right here. So I need to remove that. But I'm guessing a lot of you watching this video will be more interested in how to replace a broken coil spring, or you're looking to upgrade your springs to aftermarket ones, lower, stiffer, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go over that process as well. So whichever you're doing, you cannot just undo this top nut here and disassemble. Uh, we well can, but it's unadvisable, and I say that because there's a lot of energy stored up in this spring here, and it'd be pretty dangerous to just release it all at once. Just think about it. These springs are designed to support your vehicle under all sorts of different driving conditions. It's a fairly heavy-duty spring, and you do not want it firing across your garage at 100 miles an hour, destroying everything in its path. So that's where these things come in. These are spring compressors. Now, the set on the left here is a fairly ghetto homemade setup that somebody gave me. They actually work pretty well, to be honest, but today I'm gonna to be using the set on the right here. And these are a set of off-the-shelf spring compressors that you should be able to pick up pretty cheaply at any parts store. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is securely clamp this strut in a vise so it's not gonna move while you work on it. Uh, and then you can grab one of these spring compressors and these basically hook onto the coils of the spring and you want to grab as many coils as you possibly can with these so with this set that's going to be from about here to here like that so i'm going to tighten it up finger tight make sure you keep it perpendicular to the strut like that now these require a 12 millimeter socket to adjust them so I've got that here, I'm just going to nip it up a little bit so it's clamped onto the spring and boom that's one spring clamp installed. Now all I've got to do is repeat this process with the other spring clamp and that basically wants to go on the opposite side of the spring so at 12 and 6 if that makes sense. Okay, great, that's both spring clamps installed now, so we can begin tightening these alternatively. So work from side to side, tightening them up as you go. And what that's gonna do is squeeze the coils of the spring together and relieve the pressure that the spring is applying to the strut. So keep tightening, make sure you're tightening them evenly on both sides. Okay, great, we're there. Can you see how this spring is now loose inside the strut, it's just flopping about. That means that it is applying no force to either the bottom cup or the top, uh, so this top mount can be removed safely. Right, so to remove this top mount here, we've just got to undo these two nuts. One is a 14 mil lock nut, and then it's a 17 mil underneath. Now, before you remove the top mount, just take note of its orientation in relation to the bottom mount, and make sure when you refit it, you fit it in the same way, because that will make reinstalling it into the car a lot easier. Okay, so two spanners to break these nuts loose, 17 mil and a 14 mil. Thank you. 
There we go, that's the lock nut removed. Now when you come to remove this nut, you'll probably find the shock absorber will want to rotate with it. So there should be some flats on the top of the shock absorber here, or like this one, there should be a recess that you can get an Allen key into. So get the Allen key in the top of there, and then hold that while you undo the nut. Okay, that's the second nut off. Now, the top mount can be removed. There will be some bushes and washers that come off with this, so take note as to which way round they go and reinstall them the same way. Washer, bush, top mount. There's another bush here as well. And now the spring can be removed. There we go, that is how to remove a coil spring from a coilover. So to remove these clamps from the coil spring, you would basically just do the reverse of what you did to compress it. So just work from side to side, slackening them gradually until they fall off the spring. Then if you're installing a new spring, you would compress it just like this, tightening these down till it gets short enough to reinstall onto the shock. Uh, and then when you do it, just slide it over the shock. Make sure the coil locates in the little indentation in the lower cup here like that and now you can reinstall the top mount and the bushes. Okay so first up is this bush here uh, and it says up on it so you can't really get that the wrong way around. There you go. Top mount is next. Slide that on there and then the second bush and the cup on top of that. There we go now the top nut can go on 17 mil. thread that on there. Right, once you've got this top nut fully on the thread, you can then release pressure on this spring because it's not going to go anywhere. So we're going to work again gradually side to side, slackening off these until they fall off the spring basically. So when the spring is applying some pressure to this top mount, now would be a good time to double check it's in the same position as when you took it off. So mine just wants a little twist anti-clockwise. About there, perfect. Now you can continue to slacken these clamps gradually until they fall off. One removed. Two removed. Right, there we go. That's the spring securely back in the strut. Uh, only thing left to do now is torque this top nut up here and then reinstall the lock nut. Now, I checked the workshop manual. This isn't actually asking for a torque. It basically wants me to tighten this nut down until there's 16 millimeters of thread left above it. So. I'm going to do that. So once again, grab your Allen key so you can secure the shock so it doesn't turn with the nut and then tighten it up. Okay, there we go. There's 16 mil of this threaded section left above the nut now. So that's done. We are nearly there. All that's left to do is reinstall this lock nut. Boom, there we go. That's one strut ready to go back in the car. Or not in this case. I know what you're thinking. Why have you gone and put that top mount on there when you need it? For you guys to show you how. When I turn this camera off, I'm gonna remove this again and get it stuck on top of the TN coilovers, which will then go back in the car. 
And that is how to replace your coil spring on a coilover setup uh, the safe way. So thanks for watching. As always, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date because I do try and get videos out every month. Thanks a lot and I'll see you for the next video.